We've all been there. You've got a really good round going, and then... Oh, no, sit, sit down, sit. Uh... Hi, my name is Cameron, and after a year and a half of playing disc golf, I decided enough was enough. And so I took a day off of work and built this disc golf putting machine to answer once and for all what causes rollaways. If somehow you've never had a rollaway, well, I guess you don't play disc golf. But for the rest of us, we understand the pain of having a birdie putt turn into a bogey or worse because this little guy decided he had other plans that involved our mental breakdown. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the results of the experiment with my disc golf putting machine, dispel some disc golf myths on what causes rollaways, but give you a key takeaway for what I've learned is gonna help prevent rollaways on the course. Before we get straight into what causes a rollaway, we need to talk about some of the myths in the disc golf community surrounding them. And despite this happening to pros and ams and the drama that it can create around it ruining your tournament, there's actually no definitive evidence of what causes a rollaway. Rather, there's a lot of discussions about it being the plastic type, it could be the disc stability, uh, the slope of the hill, what is on the hill. There's really no proof and that's because it all comes from people's experiences rather than an experiment and so as a PhD student that got me thinking that I need to build something that would allow us to test that and so let's take a look at this machine and so this is our disc golf machine it's not pretty it's not as effective as Mark Rober's but it gets the job done what it does is it simulates a disc golf putt if you're a right-handed putter you grip your disc this way and you throw your putt and it has spin that goes this way. And so to replicate that, we created this machine. When I spin this wheel, it spins counter to how we release our disc, but because it presses the disc up against this wall, it creates the same spin as if we were doing our normal disc golf putt. And while it's just really soft there, we can launch it at a decent velocity, much like if you were doing a circle one putt. And so we set up shop here in Marcel's backyard. And for the better part of three hours, we ran about every putter that I owned through this machine. And that included different plastics, different stability types. We also changed the angle relative to the basket as we were hitting it and just tried not hitting the basket at all. And we also tried changing the direction of our putt relative to slope. And then we took note on what discs rolled and how far. And what we learned is that it's actually pretty hard to get one of these things to roll, but we do have some definitive evidence from those that did. And we found that rather than a bunch of different factors causing rollaways, that it really boils down to just one, spin with slope. And that's because a putt spin is actually counter to its momentum. If I take this putter and I spin it this way, once it hits the ground, its spin is actually acting as an opposing force to the momentum of my putt, like this. Now it's hard to see in that scape, but that's actually why when we throw rollers, it has to turn over because if it lands on hyzer, it stops. But if it turns over, the, the spin is going with it. And so rollers roll because of the direction that the disc lands. And so for a putt to roll, it needs to turn or pivot and so that the direction of spin equals the direction of momentum. And unless you're putting on a roller angle, there's really only one way we found that causes that to happen. And the most likely cause of that is hyzer on impact. And this is because landing on hyzer is the most likely cause of what causes a disc to pivot. If you think if a disc lands like this, it's much, e it's much easier for the disc to pivot around and for it to spin the change than if it was on a shallower angle, perhaps. And the reason that I say hyzer on impact is because while this can happen by just dropping a disc on hyzer onto the ground, it actually is much more likely for your disc to roll if you hit into the cage on a, on a sharper degree of hyzer. And this is because the more hyzer and the more, and the more time in the air allows the disc to pivot in midair so that its spin is matching the momentum and the slope of the hill. And so we found that the degree of hyzer does matter. This rolls less than this which rolls less than this. Approximately 45 degrees, or even worse somehow if you're doing that, is a recipe for rollaways. And our test also allowed us to dispel some myths. And we found that stability doesn't matter for rollaways. Harps roll as much as PA5s, as AVRs, and Rainmakers do. We also figured out that plastic type doesn't matter very much. While we didn't have any elevation discs run through our machine, and floppy plastic tends not to go with the machine too well, we did have a variety of plastics as shown right here, and we found that those didn't matter too much either. So I think the biggest takeaway here is understanding the physics of the rollaway. In fact, when you step up to a putt on a slope, the rollaway is a lot less prevalent 
than you think. And in fact, stepping up to a putt and thinking about the roll away actually might make it more likely for your disc to roll away than not. And that's because when we step up to a putt that we feel is risky, we feel the need to give it a soft bid. And soft bids tend to look something a little like this pretty high up in the air. And it also causes them to often land more on hyzer and hit the cage more often, just like that. But those are the conditions that increase rollaways more often. And so instead, if you step up to a risky putt, rather than giving it an easy, soft bid, you need to commit one of two ways, either bang it home or lay up. And that's what the pros seem to do. And so while your buddies may razz you for laying up the risky 25 footer, you're gonna have disaster situations that cause you to, to lose those one to two stroke leads less and less often. And so all in all, to minimize a roll away, you've gotta fully commit to your decision rather than doing it halfway. If you found this video informative, please give it a like. And let me know below in the comments your experience with rollaways or things that you think that we didn't test or should test in the future. And if you're interested in disc golf coaching, I do that a little bit here in person in Atlanta, soon to be Austin. And so hit me up in the email if you're interested in some form reviews or join the Overthrow Patreon. But that's the TLS Traveled. I hope that you found this content informative and will do us the favor of liking and subscribing. But that's all for now.